well. So if your facade happens to break, you can help him out with that. This one looks like a nice and high, and keep it up as well so you can spot you. If you need to leave class early for any reason, we understand that. Break the doors of the same doors you entered in. Uh, these fingers over here on the far left hand side of the classroom, that's another great big push like Danny is demonstrating, and they'll send you out on the door. Inside the animation building, as you're going to require to keep your face covering on and all times cover your nose underneath your chin. Alright, so we'll close this class. So we're going to be drawing a character from the Star Wars universe, uh, from the Mandalorian show. Uh, he, like, they call him the child, the bee. Uh, but then we find out his name in the second season. So is anyone who I'm talking about? with the bee safe director change all of our characters too. He's a star with a noble. As you're picking up those pencils, you notice that something's missing on the end of the eraser. That's because what it's doing is called the brush sketch. So you want to keep your lines like loose. The stuff that we want to keep will go back and lock those lines in. That way all those other lines are gonna fade away into the background. All about is getting your ideas on that sheet of paper. On the center paper, you want to do noble. I say not the size, big potato, a lemon to good size. You just want to make sure you save enough room for those big ears of his. You can also think of it as the circle, or just going to squash a little bit. I'm going to let you sketch out mine up here. I'm going to sludge enough into the darkening of parts, so you really want to keep here for this little alien. And lots and lots of lights. If you don't like one side, you can always round down until you got it to the way that you like it. You can also think of it as like a rainbow shape up at the top and a U shape down below. To when we're also adding construction lines. Uh, these lines are going to help us down you know, the features. One line that goes right through the center of the oval And for a second construction line a little bit uh, towards the bottom, I'm only going to cut the bottom of the oval. So I want to save enough room for those huge eyes of things. I'm going to stretching these outside of that original shape as well. And it's really helped me to get in his ears into place a little bit later. Uh, we also added a construction line here for the ears. Up at the top of the oval, I'm going to stretch out a shallow letter U shape here from side to side. So it kind of looks like you've got more of a torus sitting on your page. I'm a torus, so that's what I see. Alright, but we're going to go up here our, and start to add in his muzzle for his nose and his smile are going to see. Our construction lines here are meeting. At the bottom of the oval, I'm going to put it in a light circle, and that's where his nose and his smile will sit. But he's a baby, so I want to get more of these rounded out cheeks as well. Exactly. So I'm going to pop back in towards my construction line and my oval are meeting. I'm going to curve it back down towards the bottom of the oval. You're getting in these rounded out letter L shapes here for it, just to give you more of these your cheeks. But does anyone know how old a uh, Grogu actually is? 50. Yeah, he's a 15 year old baby, exactly. And so just locking in his cheeks because his species ages a lot differently than we do. Uh, but his cheeks are something that I want to keep, so I'm going back with the heavier and really locking these into place. So now how it's starting to stand out here from the rest of around your job. We'll give him a little button nose. So underneath where our two construction lines are meeting, it's only a small little BB circle here for his nose. Probably a little pea size of his nose here. Of this small circle, so I'm going to stretch out a 
flutter you from side to side of your arm. I'm going to be smiling, I call smile lines on the end. As he gets this too, I just want to pop the smile on the end by drawing in these little birds. I will chin like your form too. Underneath the bottom of the circle, draw in a little comb mark here for me. Look at the thing of Levy. He's got these humongous eyes. They kind of look like walnut shapes uh, for his eyes, or you can also think of them as like gumdrops as well. Uh, for where they're going to sit, they're going to sit right on top of our construction line on either side. Uh, so by the side of his nose, I'm going to stretch out a letter U shape. So it almost stretches me out all the way over towards the side of the oval on either side. So kind of right now it looks like he's asleep, which you can definitely keep him that way if you want to as well. He has a good soft But right on top of that letter U shape, I'm going to stretch out a rainbow. So I'm stretching it all. The way up towards the top of the oval, and we'll curve it back down on the side, stretching out a letter C shape. So, so we get this like walnut shape here for the design. Of these like cards, like gumdrops, or uh, teardrop shapes here for him, too. What's well, really up in that cuteness factor here for him? I'm going to draw in a little highlight to his eye. A smaller circle up at the top of the eye, and going back and shading all around it to give the eyes a bit of a light source. But you want to make sure that the eyes are really the darkest part here of the sky. This is where all of the focus goes to, is right inside of his eyes. So making sure that his eyes are really standing out when you see that. On the side of the Mandalorian, he's actually a little puppet. And he's not controlled just by one person, he's actually controlled by five different people. Uh, one person is responsible for his eyes, uh, one for his nose and mouth, uh, one for, bless you, one for his head, and one for his body movements. As well as there's one who's a standby operator who's making sure that everything is working properly on set as well. And on stage, uh, he's really uh, referred in the first season, referred to as the child and the bee. We want to give Grogu some eyelids as well. And that's by hopping right up above his eyes and stretch out a couple of little floating rainbow shapes here as well. And some eyebrow muscles too. I'm going to start hopping right up above his eyebrow ridge and right on top of the oval shape. I'm going to stretch out a rainbow or a candy cane. So I'm stretching it outside of my shape a little bit and curving it right back in. I'm just going back and locking it in once I got it the way I like it there for him on the other side. Walking the rest of his head up at the top as well, stretching out a shallow rainbow here from side to side. Now, Grogu and Yoda, we've got that little detailing, that little muscle detailing that runs right down the middle of their face. Uh, so, to add this in, we want to lightly sketch this in. If you make it too, too dark, it can definitely age Grogu up. So, I'm going to Towards the side of his eyebrow ridge, and I'm going to make a curve line that curves right back in towards our two construction lines are meeting. So it's right up above his nose there for him on either side. Awesome. I can also walk in a little portion of the construction line here in the center and add in that little muscle detailing up towards the top. Two small little hills from the rainbow shapes, as well as some other hues added down below. So we need to give Grogu those large ears of his. Um, for really the length of his ears, if you measure the size of his head and you have him sit at an angle, that's really 
and how long his ears are. They're pretty wide there for him. And you definitely don't want to have this going straight up here for him too. So that's why it's not stretched out. This a stretched out letter U shape here for him. Here towards the bottom of his cheek. I'm going to sketch out a line that goes halfway over towards the construction line. So it's about half the length of the ear up at the top. And then I'm going to write the rest of the skin here on the side. I like by sketching out a diagonal line here on either side of the form. So I want to give him some as well, uh, but adding in a hole to the ear. So I'm going to pop down towards the bottom here of this chain. I'm going to stretch out a line that curves almost in towards the corner here of the ear. And we'll do the same thing here at the bottom. So stretching out a line that curves almost down in towards the corner of the bottom of the ear here. I'm just going back and really walking into place of the And also start to go back and walk in uh, the rest of his ears. So I'm just making sure that there's no sharp points or angles to the form. So I like to see more of those sharper points and angles, more for uh, my characters. And this little guy is definitely not a Unless if you count like going back and locking in his ears. If it helps at all, you can definitely turn that board that's on your left as well. I just have these black discs, like I have it here on the desk so I can turn it and move it. So don't get those awkward eye movements. So definitely use that board that's on your left hand board. It's really whatever feels more comfortable to you at that moment. I hope you enjoyed wearing uh, that little rope there for him. So I'm going to sketch out a little scarf to show that it's nice and warm on the sides of his ears. I'm going to stretch out some other C shapes or some parentheses here for him. I want to correct this to at the bottom, stretching out a little deeper. I'm showing that there's a scarf off center of the construction line. It's drawing a straight line, so it's stretching this out and down. Right back in towards the side there for him. And to show that it's a scarf here for him too, I'm going to also add in some like fuzzy texture. I'm going to start drawing in these little shark fins, or you can also think of them as like little blades of grass. And you can add in as much texture or as little texture as you like. This is your sketch of your program. So I'm just going back and we're locking in his scarf. Of hair, he's still a growing boy. I'm also going to draw in some little sprouts of hair up at the top of his head. Just a little bit more definition on his hair. I'm drawing in a little half rainbow here for him on either side. He's also locking in, darking up uh, really any of those lines that have started to fade away throughout our drawing process for this little guy. Uh, but really the last step, an artist needs to make is a signature. And you can start ignoring wherever you feel it is best. And after you're all done, if you have sketched out your very own little puppy. All right, so how did we all do? Great. Did we have fun? Yes. That's the most important part about drawing, is really having fun with this here anyway. I would love to see each and every one of your sketches before you go. On the count of three, go and show me how you did. Don't forget, take it around. Everybody turn it
practice with each and every one of you. They all graduate from the Information Academy. Give yourselves a big round of applause for graduating. Congratulations! Now that you graduate, you can come back for another class in which we'll be teaching you a different character. I'll leave you here with Tammy. She's going to help you on now. And I'll see you all later. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.